Hi IWCS members, this is Chuck Ray and I'm in Bolivar, Pennsylvania. It's a nice little town uh, n nestled in snug in the mountains here just north of Johnstown. And I'm with the Deemers here. Earl and Connie Deemer have uh, invited me to stop by and say hi to them. And so here I am and there they are. <laughs> say hi everybody. <laughs> And and as I, as we got to talking and Earl started showing me some of his stuff, I said, wait a minute, why don't I capture this on video so we can say hi to all the other IWCS members out there. And so Earl's going to show us around. Start what, doing, yeah. what do you want to show us, Earl? Been here. Okay. This is my latest. Oh, uh, wow. Look at that. That's all in Tarsha. Wow, look at that. Uh huh. Now, how long does something like that take you to make, Earl? I don't time myself. <laughs> you have no idea. I, <laughs> when no, it's I, done, it's done. <laughs> I, I start there and I start getting uh, a little bit tired, so I quit before I make mistakes. Yeah, yeah. And then I quit and I go do something else. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the wood uh, cabinetry, of, it's all, I made all that. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. That's nice. And you do these little, uh, wow, look at that. That's really interesting. You know, they're the, it almost looks 3D, doesn't it? Yeah. What are the woods in that, Earl? Do you remember? Uh, maple, cherry, and walnut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can sure see it. That's beautiful the way you did that. You got a uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. A sharpener. I can see that Earl is one of these guys that can make anything out of wood. <laughs> <laughs> tissue uh, holder that is beautiful too now how do you do that did you just that, carving. that's just carving just hand carving wow. with a single one knife is that right when did you start working with wood or how old were you I did a lot of carving. Uh, I went in the Navy in uh, 50 and uh, I would say I did some carving as far as... Uh, Just to kill time while you were in yeah, the Navy? Yeah, in 40, 47, 49. Wow. This is uh, a bunch of chip carving here. That. Huh. What kind of wood is that made out of? That's all basswood. I was going to say basswood, and I was thinking about it because I got a big basswood uh, log that I brought back from uh, from uh, Canada that I thought I was going to... I never have done any carving, and I thought, I'm going to try to carve something basswood out of that. Basswood is the ideal carving... Uh, Wood there, it's easy to locate, and it's, it's a bland wood with no uh, uh, no grain to no mess grain yeah. Is yeah. Visible there, and, yeah. Uh, when you carve, it doesn't take away from your carving. It's yeah. The grain. Yeah. Well, good. I'm going to try to uh, see what I can do with a piece. Lamp, uh, my hutch. You, you, almost literally everything in your house is is made by you. Huh? Here's more chip carving here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Hmm. You just see the eagle over there, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. And the file cabinet. He's very practical. This is red oak. Look at that. That was one of the first things he made when I moved in here. 
Some of you long, longer time IWCS members will remember that Earl was uh, president of the society back in around 2000 or something mm -hmm. like that. And they hosted a meeting here in Johnstown, uh, PA, about uh, a year or so after that, yes. 2001. And uh, how long have you been a member of the society, Earl? 1980, 1988. 1988, yeah, not 1888. You're, you're older than I thought. <laughs> now, this is his collection, the thumbs, the thumbs Oh, there, that's what you said, thumbtacks. No, no pain on them at all. Is that right? No pain. From all over the world, no duplicates. Huh. I see you've got them all keyed, so you know what species they are. Yes, yeah. he has lists here. Look at that. It goes all the way to the floor. Huh. Not as many as some members have, but... Now you call them thumb tacks. Is that a sort of thumb a... Thumb tacks. It's a tack in there. There's a it's, it's it's spot a, and there's a nail tack. in there. And it's oh, oh, okay, okay. Earl brings them to various doctors around the, the uh, town, and they put it on their bulletin boards, and so do the nurses. They love them. They I'll wouldn't be, right be without them. Really? All right. I'll be darned. How many of those do you have? It looks like the numbers go way up. Well, it's about 1,200. 1,200 of those. Goodness it's gracious. Now, this is his masterpiece to carving. That took quite a while to do. And that's a historical thing. We have literature on that. He gave a little talk on that in Johnstown at one of the meetings. Mm -hmm. It was part of a folk art uh, demonstration. Isn't that nice? And then something very different now, the uh, walking sticks. I don't know how close you can get with mm -hmm. everything in the way here. Yeah. And we have deep relief carving right behind it. And this little uh, oh, animal one. there is a prehistoric animal that we. Uh, this one here? Yeah. The little guy there. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, it's a female. Um, can't remember the botanical name, but uh, very prehistoric. And there are still some down in the Mississippi of those, those little guys. Ah, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You've got a clock Look at that. That's, That's cool. chip carving, too. Wow. And then down here is a maple table. Oh, isn't that nice? Which Earl restored and went out in the woods and got the piece and mm -hmm. restored it. How many rings is on that thing? I don't think we ever counted them. You didn't. <laughs> That's a big, tr big tree for 70 something years. That's great. Here's the thumb tie. Back to the. Use it as a tack. Oh, yeah. You know what a little thumb tack is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I've never seen them like this before. No, I'm sure. <laughs> is this something that a lot of woodworkers do? Or is this... No. Oh, no, it's just don't. your creation, huh? And then I went one step further, and you know what a, uh, a thumb, drive. thumb drive is? Yeah? You got Very one of those. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That is interesting. So you'd have a thumb sticking right out of your you computer, huh? That. Thank you, Earl. That's nice of you. I'll add it to our collection at Penn State there. Isn't that nice? <laughs> you did see the uh, Yeah, did I take pictures of that? I'm, I'm lost things. now. Um, this is the eagle, of course, is carving in the round. And so is the bear and the cheetah. It's Earl, I'm going to have to get you to teach me how to do it. See, that's why I bought that, that big piece of basswood home. I was hoping to do some kind of carving in the round out of the uh -huh. out of thing, but, you know, I have no idea really how to start. But Start some simple. Yeah. Where's your little dog? I love your cars there. Man, That com that's a combination of my two passions there, cars and wood. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, there's one down here. It was another car. Uh, this, this is my... Uh, Look at that. Oh, that detail is amazing, Earl. What you, what uh, car is that? That's 1930. 
<laughs> Even got the transaxles and the... Isn't that something? Beautiful. Beautiful. No, got logging trucks down there even. <laughs> Those are clean. Old, old, uh, looks like an old fire hose pumper and a, look at that. Now I love the way you did those, that firewood in the back there, the boiler wood for mm -hmm. the train. Mm -hmm. That is awesome. Oh my goodness. That is incredible. The stove commode. <laughs> so you're sort of a combination artist and engineer. I mean, mm -hmm. this is, uh, you got to be able to think in detailed 3D to come up with stuff like this, huh? Yeah, you got to just have a love for wood and want to do something with it. I love the logging truck there. So, I guess that's a roll of paper or a... Steel. Steel. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. We're in steel country here. Yeah, I worked in a steel mill. You did? Well, not in the mill, in the office. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You weren't rolling the iron then. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Drill bit. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> <laughs> when he gets bored, he comes up with ideas. <laughs> seeing eye. Seeing eye, Kane. Now, for those of you, I, uh, before I started rolling this video, Earl was showing me his workshop down in the garage here, and he's still got projects on the workshop table down there. So he's not retired at all. He's still going strong. <laughs> Earl, behind you, don't forget the tired hunter. End of the trail there. <laughs> this is the end of the trail. <laughs> Look at that. That is fantastic. All different kinds of wood. Well, that is something else. Thank you. So, is uh, that, oh, oh, you got more. <laughs> okay. Unbelievable. Every room is filled with. Look at the lampshade here. Oh, those are walnut uh, slices, huh? Yeah. Yeah. There's a... Huh. A walnut husk. Do you think walnut husk is wood? Never thought about that before. It's all one piece of wood. Huh. Started out as a log and got turned into that, huh? And there's a... One piece of wood there, huh. 140 links. Look at that. You know, you can kind of see how, from looking at that, you can kind of see how primitive man could have could have created all kinds of little things <laughs> just, just to meet his needs before the before steel tools and things came in. Can't can't you? Oh, look at that. You folks should recognize that, huh? <laughs> IWCS Signia. And all the oh my goodness, look at this. Now you talk about detail. Look at this. Kinds of wood. 150 kinds of wood? Oh, out of the back hole. 150 different species of wood to create a back hole. The sun has uh, altered the coloring a lot, mm -hmm. being exposed to the sun. Yeah, yeah, sure. And here's their kitchen. Wow. That's cherry up above and is, no, red oak. Is, and the rest yeah, the red oak. Is, are, are the, is that wood from local mills around here? Yeah. Yeah. I was doing a little bit of bragging about Pennsylvania cherry up there in Ontario. I think they tried to run me out of there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the 
that's that's chip farming, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. I think he missed that. Missed what? The the chip farming. Oh yeah. Century cross. Look at that. That's chip carving. Look at that. I hope this detail comes across on the video here. Too close because it won't focus there. Hmm. Would you call yourself a master carver, Earl? I'm working towards it. <laughs> You're working towards it. <laughs> You've almost got the qualifications. Huh? <laughs> so these are all chip carved here. The two place in the clock, and then we're back to intarsia here. Okay, look at that. Just think, and I sort of did miss these cabinets over here. Did you get a good picture of the animal? Because I think I can move it this direction. I don't know. Where was that? The owl over here was oh. one of his latest. It's one of his latest, and he was really proud of it because it, it was hard to do because of the face. Oh the, yeah. The expression in the oh face. yeah, absolutely. So that took him a while to do that. That's beautiful. It sort of reminds me once uh, I have uh, those old back issues of World of Wood back in the '90s. There was a cover that was a wooden rooster, yeah. and oh, all the different yeah. fe feathers yeah. were different colors. And mm -hmm. this sort of reminds me of that. Well, Earl's going to do another uh, owl because he oh, uh, yeah. the. The wings I want to use uh, I have uh, Chumac. Mm -hmm. See if the uh, how that works on the uh, on the wing. Yeah, right, I don't know if I caught the, bit, the telephone on the video or not. <laughs> and this is Earl's outfit in the Navy here. That's my father, <laughs> my dad. Your dad's okay. <laughs> Dad, he's right here. Okay. Wow. What year was that in? Nineteen or it's uh, written there somewhere. Down the bottom, in the corner. Oh gosh. Oh yeah, there is something. It says. Uh, March 19, it's either 1919 or 1910. Does that sound right? The, uh, 1910, I'm guessing it says. I didn't have that restored, I think. That was an old, old picture. It's falling apart. Can you see my... Uh... Oh, the genealogy. Oh no! I, uh, I, I look. I missed it as we were looking at thumbtacks. That piece of wood is uh, arborvita, which is okay. the tree of life. Right. I didn't know what to do with it, so I have the tree of life. So I carved the uh, the Deemer tree. Tree. Family tree, huh? Uh, Starting in 1685, Deemer. and then coming all. Way down around, and and a, uh, keeps wrapping around. This is my mother's side garland, mm -hmm. and uh, I even put colonies. Huh. I don't have very much for her. Uh -huh. <laughs> She's from, isn't that from nice? Canada, so we Canada. Have that is nice. <laughs> You're very creative, Earl. <laughs> well, thank you again for sharing with us. Earl and Connie, and I, I just want to tell you folks that are watching the video. Did you get you, my canes? Yeah, we saw those. Hey, if you're watching the video and you want to see the, the Deemers or meet them for the first, see them again or meet them for the first time, you can come to our uh, annual meeting that's going to be held in State College, Pennsylvania this coming year. Is it really? Yeah, and you can meet the Deemers and you can <laughs> talk about it. <laughs> so thanks again, Earl and Connie. Deemer, we'll see you.